Hi, on the next episode of DevOps Lab, April Edwards is going to show us how to use GitHub Actions to deploy Terraform. Hi, welcome to the DevOps Lab. On this episode, we are joined by a very special guest, April Edwards. April, how's it going? Awesome, Abel. Thank you so much for having me. Again? Yes. <laughs> so we've been talking about Terraform quite a bit, right? We have. Okay, so the next big question that I have is, as cool as everything you've shown me, you've heard about all the neat stuff happening inside of GitHub, right? Yes, I have. So inside of GitHub, for those that are living under a rock and don't know, <laughs> they have their own workflow engine now built inside of GitHub. So as a DevOps person, I'm all about CICD using GitHub Actions. Mm -hmm. Am I able to use GitHub Actions to deploy my infrastructure using Terraform? Yes, you can. Cool. So I think one of the biggest questions that we get is, you know, is Actions here to replace uh, Azure DevOps and, and the CICD pipelines there? No, they're not. So I just want to kind of state that one out. It's not there to replace it, but yes, you can enable GitHub Actions to deploy your Terraform code. So a lot of organizations we work with put their code in GitHub, right? Sure. Now we can execute it directly from GitHub using Actions. Awesome. So why don't you show me how you do this, right? So the idea with Actions is you have a workflow file, mm -hmm. right? It's, it's all described in YAML. So what type of actions can we do to deploy our, our Terraform stuff? Yeah, so absolutely. So just refer to my screen here. Okay. Um, we're going to call a, a Terraform workflow. Okay. Um, I've just created a file here at the high level. Um, so the first thing it does is it's going to it's going to call it on a sorry, put it right up here for you. Um, we're doing a pull request. Okay. okay. Every time there's a pull request to our code, um, it's going to run this. So right. first thing we have, first task is Terraform format. Okay. Um, so the Terraform format will check your code and make sure that it's it's set to spec and that it's going to run properly, right? Okay. Now I'm currently running the latest version here. It's mm -hmm. version 0.4.4 um, that was released by Terraform. Uh, sorry, released on GitHub uh, within the last 24 hours. Cool. So these versions are constantly changing. So that's the one thing you just have to be really careful about as a gotcha. Make sure you're running on the correct version that fits your code. Awesome. Okay. So the first thing you do is you go ahead and format, mm -hmm. and then next you call Terraform init. Yes, we call Terraform init. So instead of typing it in, um, and you know, we, we've actioned that to say, right, let's initialize Terraform. It's also co calling our GitHub token as well. Mm -hmm. um, so that's secured out. Now I just want to also point out where it says TF action working directory here. That's yes. our Terraform directory. So that that full stop, that period means our main.tf file is sitting at the top level of our directory in GitHub. Um, so if you do happen to put your file somewhere else in GitHub, you do need to reference that and in, within your folder structure. Okay. Okay. So the next thing you do is, it uh, looks like it's a validate task. Correct. It's going to be a validate task. Um, and, and again, working from the same directory. So it's calling that exact same directory, um, and it's going to actually you know, run it run it from there. So it's, there's no change pretty much from the same task. And each task, task is dependent on the one before it. Fantastic. And then finally, after you validate, you go ahead and call Terraform plan. Correct. So we call Terraform plan. Um, and now actually here, it's interesting, we have the workspace. So we talked about workspaces earlier, right? Mm -hmm. um, so I talked about having a default workspace. So because we only have one main.tf file, mm -hmm. we're just going to call it default. So sure. if we want to start working in multiple environments and having multiple workspaces, we'll need to declare which workspace we want to, to deploy to. So this is very pertinent if, you know, again, multiple environments. Um, we need to call that workspace action from this code here. Awesome stuff. So this looks actually super, super simple. Yeah. Basically, Terraforms, they've already created custom actions that does all the stuff that we need. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have a link to the or a page that has all the, the HashiCorp actions? I do. Um, so we have one here with, the, with current releases here. Okay. Um, and from here, we can get the source code, um, but we can also put up a link of, of what the actions are as well. So um, you can use the visualizer as well within GitHub mm -hmm. and look at, look at it that way um, and add tasks and um, kind of conceptualize your tasks from there as well. Very, very cool. Yeah. Thank you so much, You're April. Welcome. Basically, what you've just told me now is if my code is in GitHub, I can deploy Terraform. Absolutely, and pretty simple steps as well. So I'll go ahead and share these scripts with everyone. Um, now, as the new releases come along, just be conscious of that. But yeah, we'll actually share this code and make sure everyone can start you know, creating our, our new workflows from uh, GitHub Actions. Very cool. All right, developers, if your code is sitting in GitHub already, let's start playing with Actions and start using Terraform to deploy our infrastructure. Thank you. Mm-hmm.